हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रिचा हांडा और वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक ध्वनि ज्ञान एंड द टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो इज डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स इन bb.net सो फर्स्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स फर्स्ट वन देयर टाइप्स ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स देयर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स दैट कैन बी यूज्ड इन द bb.net इज द इफ देन स्टेटमेंट इफ देन एल्स स्टेटमेंट nested if statement and the select case statement so let's start with the if then condition if then statement the syntax of the if then statement is if then we write the condition if and then use the keyword then if the given condition is true then the statements that we want to execute will be written here they it may be a single statement or a multiple statements whatever we want to uh, use then uh, the if is ended by using the keyword and if uh, then the other one is if then else condition in the previous one there is no else condition that means if the condition is false then there will be no statement will be executed uh, but in if there uh, if then else condition we will use if then write the condition if the condition is true then the following statements will be executed otherwise that means if the above condition is false then the following statements will be executed it will also uh, enclosed by using the keyword and if and another one is a nested if nested if means if we want to use the multiple if conditions step by step then it is called the nested if statements or ladder if Uh, the syntax of uh, the nested if, if we write the if condition, then if the condition is true, then the following statements will be executed. Otherwise, we use else if then condition. That means multiple if will be used here. And uh, then if the above condition is true, then the following statements will be executed. And then we write the multiple else if conditions, whatever we want in our program. And after that, if all the conditions are false, the false that are given above, then the else condition will be executed uh, by using these statements. Then it will also close by using the and if statement. And the last one is the select case statement. The select case statement and the if else if statements both are working similarly, uh, but the difference is that in the if else condition, in the condition we use the uh, range of uh, conditions like uh, if we want to check the whether a number is between uh, between 10 to 50 or it is greater than or equal to the 100. So there is a range uh, to check whether a condition is true or false. but in a select case statement we use the exact match of the conditions that means if we want to check whether a number is a or uh, whether a given character is a vowel or not then for that we have a selected case like a it should be a or i or o or u uh, then we use the select case if we have a particular or choice for our op for our cases otherwise we use the if else conditions so for the select case we use the for the syntax select then we write the name of the variable that we want to check then the number of cases will be written here then according to the cases the statements will be executed if all of the cases are false then the case else will be used like it work like a else statement and then the following statements will be executed the select case will be ended by using the keyword and select so uh, these are the syntax that i have elaborated here uh, now i would like and now I, i would like to show you how the uh, uh, the programs will be executed in dotnet using these decision making statements uh, so for that uh, we i will open the vb.net uh, coding i have designed a form uh, to check whether a given number that we i have inputted in my program is even or not so for that there is a label 1 and i write the text here enter any number there is a text box 1 where we i will input any number and this is a, a button uh, to check whether a given number is even or not uh, so i would like i have to write the code uh, in the button because uh, our event is when we click the button so we double click on the button then the button 1 click event will be uh, open then i have to write the code Uh, so for that i have to um, declare a variable for the variable declaration we i have to write the code dim then the name of the variable suppose i have taken the a as 
integer because our value should be integer then i have to give the uh, value to the variable then a equals to text box 1 dot text because the value that we want to give uh, to our program as an input is a, should be written in the text box 1 uh, so, and I have to write, write cint before the text box 1 uh, just because it is used as a convert to the integer because all the text box value should be treated as a string or a character value uh, but uh, in our program we have to treat it as a integer value so we, I, we have to convert it into the integer for that cint is used to convert it into the integer value then I have to write the code for the if then condition so I have write the code if, then I write the condition. I uh, the, the question is if the value is even or not. For the to check the value even is or not, we have to write the condition a mod two. That means if the given number is completely divided by two equals to zero, then and and if and then is automatically appear when you press the enter key. Then I have a label where I have I have to write the output so label to dot text equals to number is even we will not write else part here because it is only the if condition without using else so we have to execute the program by using the function key f5 or just pressing this button then the form will be appear here uh, where we have to input a number to check whether number is even or not. Uh, so we have to write a number suppose 9. We know that 9 is not an even number. So nothing will be displayed because else part is not written here. But if we write the 90 then it show that number is even. Uh, so another part if, uh, if we want to write the code for the else. Uh, that means if the condition is false then what will happen? So else will be written here else then label to dot text equals to number is odd. Then again execute the program. Then if I write the number 78 then it is even number but if I write 781 then it is the odd number. Okay uh, so next uh, suppose in this is the if and if else, con if else condition. Uh, now uh, we would like to use the nested if condition. Uh, so uh, let's take uh, another button and uh, check the grade of a number. Suppose uh, we will give any uh, input as a number and check whether uh, according to these numbers uh, the student will get uh, the grade A, B, C or uh, D or he is failed. For that uh, we will click on the grade. So we write if sorry, first we declare the variable dim a as we will take the double because the number can be the decimal values and a equals to we will use here, here c double rather than c in teaser because our variable is a double variable uh, text box one dot text then we write the code if a is greater than or equals to 90 then label to dot text equals to i give it as a a plus grade okay then we will copy it with the else part or okay write it else if a is greater than or equals to 70 then label to dot text equals to suppose it is a grade and write uh, the using the same I will copy here suppose it is greater than or equals to 60 then the grade will be B plus grade and if it is greater than or equals to 50 then suppose the grade is B and then if all the above conditions are false then use the else condition that is label to dot text equals to fail. 
that means if the uh, person get the 90% marks then the a plus grade is will be generated and if it is greater than 70% 70 marks then a grade is will be displayed here if it is greater than 60 then b plus if it is greater than 50 then b otherwise he is failed so let's start let's execute the program uh, then suppose I have write here 92 then the grade will be A plus if I write here the 74 then grade will be A if I write here 60 then the grade is B plus if I write here 53 then the grade is B if I write here 34 then the person is failed. okay and uh, next to the last one that we have to execute is a select case statement. Suppose I have taken a, another button here and uh, right here, suppose select case. Select. And uh, we want to check that if we enter any character in this text box to check whether a given character is vowel or not. Uh, so click on this button again declare a variable dim a as now this time the data type is a character data type because a e i o u all fives are of the type of character and then a equals to text box one dot text this time we do not have to convert anything to the other type because text box one is already in the type of character then we uh, write select his statement select then variable name that we want to check so we want to check the variable a then our first case is in double quotation we write a then label 2 dot text equals to vowel okay and then we write the other cases so i copy here and paste here suppose another one is a Second one is a E. Third one is the I. Next one is the O. And uh, the last one is U. And if all the cases are uh, wrong or uh, not correct or false, then we use the case else. Sorry. We use the case else and here I write label to dot text equals to not vowel okay so this is the complete code select case a case a e i o n u else case not vowel so execute it I execute it by pressing F5 or the button. Uh, so if I write here A, then it is a vowel. If I write here M, then not vowel. If I write here O, then it is a vowel. Okay, I think uh, uh, you all will understand all these problems related to our decision uh, statements of the VB.NET. Uh, so thank you guys for watching my channel and watching this uh, video. Thank you so much.